In this section it says I can describe the shift in a parabola from the parent function y equals x squared. The parent function y equals x squared is that u-shape, that standard parabola u-shape. And I'm going to just quickly sketch that over here. We get something that looks like this. We get the standard u-shape. Now the reason that this is useful is that the standard typical parabola can move around. We can slide it to the left, we can slide it right, we can slide it up, we can slide it down, and we can actually do that with the equation. So we don't need to just say to shift the graph this many left, this many right. We can actually rewrite the equation in a different way such that we know where to move this graph. We can also stretch it. We can make it uh, a little bit thinner, a little bit wider. Um, not as easy to do right now, but uh, you can change the shape by modifying that A term. So let's go ahead and look at this first example here. We have it written in vertex form, and out front we have a negative 2. That negative 2 is the A term. That number out front, no matter what form it's written, is always A. It's the stretch factor. The negative says down, so the negative says facing down. I might want to write the word facing down instead of just down because later we're going to shift it down, like sliding it. So facing down. The other thing that the, the two part does is it says it stretches it, makes it narrower. If it was one, just negative one, it would be the normal width. If it was, let's say, one half or two thirds, something less than one, then we would be wider like that. And when it's negative 2, we get something that's narrower. It's a skinnier graph. So what we see from this negative 2 here is that it is facing down and it is narrower. Next thing we're going to look at is how far did we shift it uh, left and right. And if you look at, if you normally start at 0, 0, you can see that this vertex here was shifted over 2 to the left. And then it was shifted one up. So it shifted two to the left and one up, and you can actually see that in the equation right here. Two to the left and one up. Now, the positive two means it went left. We would normally think, well, isn't positive two right? And generally, yes. In the f when it goes in this equation, it, we always flip it around. So it means two units left. So we shifted the entire graph. We actually shift every point, not just the vertex, but the vertex is the easiest one to find on the graph, so that's the one we usually look for. But we shifted everything two units left, and then the plus one over here says we shifted everything one unit up. I'm going to get you started on the next example down below here. It says that we have y equals negative one-third times x minus three squared plus one. I'm not going to actually tell you the answers here, but what I am going to point out is just on the x minus 3. Remember that if positive went to the left, the negative must go to the right. So on this uh, particular part, this one right here, we are shifting units to the right. And you can see that if you look at your graph, that you must have shifted three units to the right and also one up. So you'll see that. You also need to find your a value and describe what that is doing in this graph. Good luck with the shifting graphs.